There is a petition to get a stoplight at a dangerous New Mexico intersection. It comes a month after a woman was almost killed when her car was T-boned there. And she's not the only one who's been hurt. News 13's Elena Mendoza shows you what has people so concerned. You know, it was just any other day. Connie Canmore says her daughter Brittany was excited for the future, set to graduate from Clovis Community College in May. She got up, got ready that morning. We talked about all of her future plans. She's currently um, going to school, so we were talking about some of her future plans. Dreams put on hold when they got news she was in a bad car accident. It was, it was hard. That was the worst day of my life. The 20 year old was headed home trying to turn on NM 467 when a pickup truck traveling on Highway 6084 slammed into her passenger side. She suffered a severe brain injury, the equivalent of shaken baby syndrome for adults. To me, it's just a huge safety concern that really needs to be addressed so that way there's there's no more. Missy Terry says accidents like Brittany's happen all too often at this intersection. Terry created this petition aimed at the NMDOT to replace the two-way stop sign with a stoplight to regulate traffic. You can be paying attention and you can look both ways to see where the traffic is at, but you don't know how fast someone's rate of speed is. Terry says the flashing lights reminding drivers on Highway 6084 to slow down doesn't work. We're also told it's difficult to see oncoming traffic at sunrise and sunset. You're really turning on a hope that somebody's not coming. Brittany's family hopes something good can come out of this accident. For her to go through this, if it accomplishes them getting a stoplight or something there to stop this from hurting somebody Smiles. else and their family. Yeah. That would mean the world to her. In Clovis, Elena Mendoza, KRQE News 13. We are told Brittany is making progress at a specialty hospital in Lubbock, starting to open her eyes again and track movement. New Mexico DOT says past studies show the intersection does not meet the requirement for a stoplight, but they say they will be reevaluating it. A new study will take place next week.